Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, I have a Juniper EX2300 uh, 48P is a POE switch. I have the I have an issue with the with the unit. You know, um, basically, let me show you. When I try, I already tried to factor the folder password and and doesn't work. Look, when I try to log in using the user root, it doesn't give me the password option. I'm not sure why. And you know, it's very important. I recommend to do that as well. You know, check the boot process. You know, and maybe you can find something in here to tell you what really is wrong with the unit. You know, these are different errors. Look at that. Uh, maybe you know, is the uh, is the flash. You know, the flash memory which is corrupted probably, and that's why doesn't boot um, I have a needle right here DA0 which basically can be you know the uh, flash on the uh, on the unit on the switch on the motherboard but um, I have no option I, I look at this requesting uh, switch over due to this failure on DA0 so uh, I have no option that you know form of the unit uh, and reinstall a different operating system. So the customer told me that the idea he need a switch. So we are we, we we need to work something that can bring this guy back to life. That's what exactly we need to do. So let me show you. Um, I have a procedure in which we will try to install the Junos from the TFTP server. We need to assign an IP address to the management interface. If in order to do that, we need to interrupt the boot process, the U boot. So let me just power cycle the switch, please. And here we need to control C immediately in order to interrupt the boot process. Uh, so right here we are going to assign an IP address to the management interface set EMB. APADDR 192.168.0.178 set E and B uh, netmask 255.255.255.0 set E and B gateway P 192.168.0.1 and the server IP set EMB server IP 192.168.0.102 so we already assigned the basic parameters to the management interface we need to save the configuration save EMB enter So basically, let's see if we can pin the server when Yes, it's responding. Look at that. So right now we need to boot the unit and then go to the uh, boot menu and interrupt the boot process, the boot menu and go to option number five. I'll show you. So that's the only option that you know that I have. You know, just try to format the unit. This will be erase everything. So, if you have configuration on the unit, I recommend if you need the configuration, I recommend do, don't do this uh, option because this will erase everything. So we, here we interrupt the boot process with Control C. We go to the option number five, more options, and from there go to num number five again to boot from to the loader from. From here, we need to uh, execute this particular command. Uh, the operating system I have in here. Copy. So from here, we need to execute install dash dash format. TFTP 
182.168.0.102 and the operating system name. This is a this is a particular operating system book the unit from the network. Paste and then um, enter. Let's see that can be the solution. If not, we are going to try it a different way to record the unit. Let's see if this this one work. Um, I try in different uh, model numbers. Uh, EX4300, EX4200. Never tried this model, this particular method before. So let's hope that works. It's not. We are we are trying we are trying a different way to recover the unit just in case. So it's taking a little while, but um, I mean it's not local. I mean it's on the network. So and apparently you know content. ISO meaning that this particular file is an ISO image and that's why you know this format everything and reinstall a brand new operating system in the unit so let's wait let's see if that works So basically, you know, the process is um, is running right now. As you can see, look at that. Look at right here what is happening. It's transferred the operating system. It's downloading the operating system, and then uh, look all this process right here. So yeah, everything is going well until now. Um, right here you know it was like the i mean as you can see the install is, in, is trying to reach the remote host and then try different times until you know finally the, the connection was successful and they are you know just basically downloading the operating system to to a uh, flash i'm not sure how big is the file let me see but uh at this point, you know, you, we just need to wait to see what happens. So, thank you guys for your support. So, the transfer apparently is complete. Look at that, um, the downloading, and then after that, uh, is doing the, you know, format or checking, you know, running FDisk right here to check if everything is, uh, the uh, hard drive is in good condition that's basically what it is and right now you know this is trying to um, well to verify the contents uh, I noticed that the uh, date of the unit is not correct uh, today is July 26 2024 and right here look at that sometimes that can be an issue for sure um, I have you know previous a failed installation and you need that they the the clock doesn't synchronize you know and then uh, that can be a very weird uh, error message but happens so if you can set the set time on the unit on the switch before you the operating system that will uh, help you to you know successful uh, Juno's installation so let's see apparently everything is working fine let's just wait so guys, the uh, process is not complete. As you can see, there is a, a lot of updates. The unit basically uh, reboot like a twice. So, you know, um, as we can see, mounting and verifying a lot of, you know, information right here. So um, the process is basically done. Let's see if we, we, we were able, you know, to fix the units. Let's see. Good. And there we go. Now we can we have access to a CLI. So I'm glad that you know uh, 
we were able to fix this situation because the customer, this is another happy customer for sure. Um, so let's show system information. Show uh, chassis hardware detail. Show chassis routing engine. Show chassis FPC. Maybe it's not online yet. Take a while. Take a status, but let's see. They are still offline. This is a very important command because uh, you know, as you can see right now, if we pick up offline, that's there is something wrong with the unit, you know. But you know, I mean, take a little while, you know, to bring all the picture of it one to online, and let's check later for sure. Show a uh, system environment to check fans and powers are working properly. To chassis, pardon, excuse me, to chassis environment. To chassis alarm. To system alarm. And yeah, let's check the FPC pick status. They are online. Look at that. So this is how the you recover uh, Uniper EX2300, you know, with that problem that we have initially but we can be able you know to fix the situation you know transfer the operator using the install net install process procedure you know uh, we format the unit and then you know we transfer the operating system from the TFTP server to the flash format everything and reinstall a new operating system right here look at that that's the version that we install Thank you so much guys for your time and I really appreciate it and I see you in the next video and if you like the video please give me a like and share with your friends or co-workers and have a great weekend. Thank you so much and I see you in the next video. Thanks.